Unit. Your Honor, we appear before you by virtue of the provisions of Article 49 of the Constitution, specifically 491 F, G, and H, as read with Section 33 of the Prevention of Terrorism Act. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, the application relates to orders that we seek from your Honorable Court, as provided by the Prevention of Terrorism Act, <coughs> as at first instance, to order for the detention of the respondent for a period of 30 days. so as to allow officers from the ATPU and other agencies of the National Police Service to conduct further investigations. Your Honor, Section 33 makes it possible for you, the court, to make such orders. And they will be seeking that you do the same. You know, the application is supported by an affidavit appearing on page 3 of the application, deponed by Inspector Monica Gidaiga, who is an officer stationed at the ATPU, the Anti Terrorism Police Unit. And I kindly ask the court to consider this affidavit in total, but specifically, Your Honor, I invite the court <coughs> to look at paragraph 4, where your, court, your Honor will find that the respondent was arrested on the 29th of January 2019, which is yesterday. And as by law required, we are meant to produce him before the expiry of 24 hours, hence this application. And at paragraph 5, we bring it to the court's attention that his arrest and presentation before you emanates from the events that occurred on the 15th of January 2019 at 14 Riverside Complex and specifically Lucid D2 Hotel. You know, we seek to have him detained for purposes of investigation but due to what we at the moment are uh, looking at insofar as his involvement in aiding and abetting that heinous attack and that crime on the 15th. You know, to illustrate why we are asking for the 30 days, I ask the court to look at paragraph 6. 
Wayona, we, the deponent speaks of a mobile phone that was recovered on the respondent. And it is necessary, Your Honor, to conduct it to, ex to allow for forensic examination of that mobile phone. At paragraph 8 of the affidavit, Your Honor, <coughs> and I will find that there is a motor vehicle registration number KCN 340E at Toyota Ractis. Sorry, Your Honor. 340E, Echo. Toyota Ractis, Your Honor, that we have so far established was used to carry the gunmen to the Ducit Hotel on the 15th. Your Honor, it has further been established that this registration details KCN 340E at some point have also been issued to another motor vehicle that was traced to Kitengela in Kajiado County. Your Honor, it is apparent that either one of these plates, registration plates, is fake or if it is not, it was issued fraudulently. And at this point, it has been established by the team of investigators that the respondent has some responsibility insofar as issuance of registration plates or license plates or number plates is concerned. <clears throat> and it's therefore necessary for the investigators, and you'll find that in paragraph 11, 12, 13, and 14, to visit the offices of the National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA, to investigate the process of procurement of license plates and recover all documents attendant to that issuance, and particularly in relation to this set of uh, registration plates KCN 340E. You know, since it is a process before an individual is issued with number plates, the ATPU equally need to visit and consult with the Kenya Revenue Authority. to find out who the owner or owners of KCN 340E is or are. Your Honor, the intention and plan on behalf of the investigators equally is to visit the Kenya Prison Services, particularly in committee again to satisfy themselves of the processes and procedures that are necessary before a set of plates is printed or generally produced. You know, we'll find that these are visits and interrogation of 
of people and agencies and documents which need time. And it is our belief based on an assessment of the task that 30 days would more or less be sufficient to cover that ground. Now we have equally stated 